Hi you lovely, welcome back to the channel. Today's adventure is going to be fun. I'm heading out of Bognor Regis where I've been for one of the absolute 80s weekenders with some friends. And I was going to take you to a few places, but I knew it was going to rain. I knew it was going to rain, but I didn't really realise it was going to rain this heavy. So uh, we'll see how we get on on this little adventure. Let's go. So I was going to take you around the village of Slindon, which I wanted to come to for quite a while, but the weather is just absolutely crap. So this might be a really short video because there are other couple of places I want to take you to, but I mean I've got waterproofs, but hey, this you know, video's captured forever, almost forever, on YouTube and platforms like that, and you want to look at it in a nice light, not with it pissing down with rain. So um, we're going to move on to our next location. Sorry guys, I really like to have had a nice little walk around here. But it's, the rain is relentless and um, I'm not going to be a drowned rat on video. So uh, let's move on. Stopped off this little village um, in Houghton. Is it pronounced Houghton? 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 Um, the rain's eased off a little bit, which is good. Try not to get run over. <laughs> but I just passed it and thought oh, I'll stop here and have a quick look. Still have to be chucking it down. But what can you do? What can you do? We're just outside Amberley, where my book uh, was published by Amberley Publishing back in 2011. My book Paranormal Surrey. So yeah, that's where the publishing house is. Right. Well, onwards and upwards. Let's move on to the next location. Please, please stop raining. So I brought you to this wonderful old bridge. First of hopefully two bridges today. And the rain stopped. The rain stopped. This is Gretham Bridge or Greatham Bridge. I'm not quite sure the best, best pronunciation. Gretham Bridge or Greatham Bridge. And um, built in the 13th century. Um, amazing old bridge. It actually does say let the car pass. It does actually say um, weak bridge, which I can understand. But it's reinforced in 1790. So yeah, Greatham or Gretham Bridge. Um, this new ironwork bit here, which I'm not sure um, when that was built, probably about 100 years ago by the looks of it. I think we've got a bit of blue sky over there. That's looking good, a bit of blue sky. Um, my friend Richard Vobes actually got a good viewpoint um, when he was here. And I don't know how to get to it, to get a better view of the bridge. Um, 
Now it's all overgrown, I don't think we can do it now, which is a bit of a shame. As I say, one of two medieval bridges hopefully we're going to today. Um, but yeah, Greatham or Gretham Bridge. Now that it's stopped raining, I think we're going back down to Slindon, but no, we're heading back north on the A29 out of West Sussex, back into Surrey. But I'm stopping off at Pulborough for a pub lunch. I think it's Pulborough, just outside Pulborough. It's a very haphazard video this, isn't it, today? Very haphazard. My plans went afoot because it was raining so much. Um, I've had to improvise improvise there's cows in that field which i'm not going in so yeah fascinating stuff so yeah gretham or gretham medieval bridge 13th century let's head on incidentally uh, i'm still working out and trying out the gopro hero black 11 which i'm using uh today so i'm still trying to get the settings right and everything uh feel comfortable with it so um be, be interesting when i'm editing but um yeah yeah i'm just shooting in 1080p uh 60 frames per second i don't do 4k or anything like that because um it only gets reduced down and um uh, on youtube and they sort of resaturate it and all that kind of thing but yeah I just, i'm just in 1080p sometimes I'm, i was usually shooting 2.7k uh for vlogs if i'm using the gopro so um yeah it's, it's, it's all right so far. We've got front projection, so can you finally actually see yourself with a, with a view screen? And uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with it so far. Let's go. Yep, so here we are at St. Bartolf's Church. Uh, this ancient church contains some of the oldest wall paintings in the country. It's still right by the A29 which is also the old Stain Street, the old Roman roads sort of Stain Street. Is it going to be open? Okay. Yes. Oh, wow. These early wall paintings are from the early 12th century, early 12th century, and only uncovered, like a lot of these are, in 1862, when Victorians are doing renovations on these old churches. I mean, wow, it's covered in them. St. Bartolf Church. Went to St. Bartolf Church recently over at Lullington Castle. Um, don't hear of him much, St. Bartolf. I mean, I think the best medieval wall painting is probably the one at um, uh, Chaldon Church, which I've done many videos from. Did, we were there recently. That's an incredible mural of mural, sorry, mural of uh, the depiction of heaven and hell. But these are all over the place, all over the place. Look, absolutely astounding. just a simple nave and chancel. The church itself is late Saxon, early Norman. It's lovely, lovely. Been really lucky. I mean, I really want to explore, explore West Sussex a hell of a lot more. It's just absolutely glorious. I don't know if it's used for worship anymore. I mean, it's Sunday about half 11. These, these wall paintings are absolutely extraordinary.
From what my friend told me, St. Bartolf met a rather horrible end. His skin was flayed with sheep scarers. So he's the patron saint of sheep. Wow. We're in Hardham Village, just outside Pulborough, on the A29. Little turn just off the main road. As I said, the old Roman road. Amazing. So these could be the work, these paintings of what's known as the Lewis Group, which would have been a bunch of artists or singular artists around the 1100s, going around the local provinces offering their services to paint these fantastic uh, murals and paintings on the church walls. There's so little evidence um, to support it, unfortunately, but um, it seems very likely that's, that's, what's hap that's what's happened. Ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So thank you, St. Boldolf Church. Just gonna go outside and have a look around the uh, outside of the building. Once more, magnificent wall paintings, absolutely extraordinary. Okay. There's something else I want to show you on this church, which is very interesting, very much like the church at St. James in Shear in Surrey. Can you find it? There's a blocked up door, my new fetish, blocked up medieval doors on the south wall. There is an anchorite cell in the direction of the altar. I can't quite find where that is. It might have been long gone. But anchorites, like the one in Shear, at Shear Church, are people who devoted their, their life to God by being walled up in a stone cell attached to the church. So they can still go to congregation, listen to congregation and everything. Um, a very extreme form of devotion, you know, especially with, uh, if we look through secular eyes, but yeah. Fascinating. What a great church. The Hardham early wall paintings. Hardham Church was probably built around 1050 and has some of the finest in series of wall paintings in the country, painted in the 1100s. It is one of a group of six churches, including West Chillington where the surviving paintings can be compared with contemporary illustrated manuscripts. A single group of painters may have been responsible for these wall paintings, what they call the Lewis group, so yeah. Fascinating stuff, fascinating. Thank you St Bartol's Church.